do you look for when seeking a quick getaway? Adventure? History? Culture? I found a place where all of it collides that also offers southern charm and incredible scenery. I found it here in Prince Edward County. There's so much to see and do here that I needed a little extra help planning my visit. Hi, Maggie. Hi, welcome, Natalie. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. So tell me a little bit about Prince Edward County and Farmville. Well, welcome to the best part of the Civil War, dot, okay. dot, dot, the end. Okay. That's part of this marketing campaign. Prince Edward County is one of the uh, members of that campaign. And Farmville, of course, is our crown jewel. <laughs> The rich history of this region alone will keep you busy and is simply fascinating. It was here in April 1865 where a key battle in the Civil War took place. The battle at High Bridge played a pivotal role in General Lee's retreat in the final days of the American Civil War. It's this kind of history that you can relive and retrace at High Bridge State Park. The bridge, which now stands for public use, is a place where thousands of visitors from all over come to enjoy hiking, biking, horseback riding, or simply a leisurely stroll to enjoy the view. Another important part of our nation's history also took place here in this area. <laughs> Student protests here at Milton High School in Farmville played a pivotal role in the Supreme Court's Brown versus Board of Education decision. It now stands as a museum, telling the story of the struggle over school desegregation in 1951. This is a story that, that it gets overlooked a lot of times by, by historians, which is so important. I mean, when you talk about the Civil Rights Movement, Farmville, Prince Edward County, Virginia, this was a birth site of the Civil Rights Movement. This was 1951. You know, one of the earliest acts of direct action occurred here, and it was led by children. You know, they were the masterminds behind this. They were the ones that were leading the adults. And so this is really one of the few places where you can come and see the incredible thing that children were able to accomplish. And it now stands as a reminder of how the student strike changed the course of American history, something Dolores Lawrence remembers vividly. In a way, I'm very sad, of course, that it had to happen. But to see what have come from it, it's, it's, uh, it does a lot for me inside to share, you know, and to see that we've come this far and can tell our story so positively. So that part I feel very good about. While in Farmville, I had to check out their unique downtown and all it has to offer. If you're looking for unique and eclectic shopping that you just can't find anywhere else, then you need to come here to downtown Farmville. They have furniture and antiques to clothing and accessories. They even have a place where you can make your own pottery. But if you have a sweet tooth like I do, I understand there's one place in particular you have to check out. They have desserts that are to die for. Let's go on inside and sample a few. How are you? Good. Good morning. Welcome to the Farmville Sweet Shop. Thanks so much. This all looks amazing. Oh, I think I want one of all of them. <laughs> Ooh, thank you so much. Mm. Oh my god. After a little shopping and a bite to eat, it was off for a little adventure and a challenge unlike anything I've experienced before. Oh my God! This is Sandy River Retreat, an adventure park complete with a challenging ropes course and the state's longest zip line. As I started my climb, I was a little wary of my decision to participate. We have 52 obstacles and 13 zip lines. Um, they are going to experience things like uh, Burma bridges, uh -huh. obviously zip lines, yeah. uh, swinging bridges, 
all kinds of different aerial obstacles between the trees. Made this it. course will have you balancing on your tiptoes and holding on to dear life while dangling 40 feet in wow. the air. After completing this course, I was thrilled to see the platform yeah. until I realized it was time to get down. And there's only one option, the zip line. A thrill like no other. You can come here to play for the day or stay a while in one of their log cabins right on the property for a truly unique getaway excursion. But be sure to find your adventure here at Prince Edward County. Amazing things have happened here and are waiting to be explored, and it's all just a day's drive away.